Hello beautiful multi-dimensional beings, earth angels, light workers. Welcome back or hello if you're new to another channel message and reading for you. I channel for the rising souls of the collective. Those of you who are actually what this <laughs> reading is about is that you are operating and your reality is operating from um, higher dimensions because you guys you're, by the way, just a quick one as well. Yes, I'm in the same place as the last reading. And it's actually, this video is going to upload on the day that it's my birthday. So, happy birthday to me today. And shout out to any other fellow Virgos out there. It is our season. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys know that reality operates um, and is programmed by our belief systems what we believe is our truth it's our perceived truth and so what we perceive to be true we believe um to be is how our reality operates so that is you guys i feel like you have this understanding already that what we believe about ourselves and our reality that is how it will abide by reality abides by us and of course not all of our beliefs are necessarily chosen beliefs they're formed beliefs through emotional experiences and so a lot of you have been going over your past you have been reprogramming the self by rewriting and re-understanding with a expanded awareness to what you had before past experiences and in this way by relearning re-understanding things we can um, see things from a different light that changes certain beliefs we would have had about ourselves or life to that situation. You guys have rewritten a lot of your life story and in fact it's not rewriting, you've replaced the storyline of your life into higher vibrational timelines because when I say we re-understand things, understanding is a vibrational thing. So to understand something, we can understand it at a certain level of vibration. So if we're re-understanding the storyline of our life from a higher vibration, we are taking that that storyline and placing it onto a higher um, perceived timeline path, right? It's how we change the past by the future and how we observe the past. So it's kind of like all the past happened in every single timeline. The past experience has happened in every single frequency of timeline. And so we will be limited to perceiving our life story from the timelines we understood it by. But there's these limitless multiverse of different versions of that experience or of that timeline or of that storyline. And you guys have shifted these storylines to integrate them into your higher truths. And these higher truths you've gained have been gained through awakenings, have been gained through channelings, have been gained through downloads. And so you've taken your understandings and meshed them with higher truths of understanding that you've learned along the way, along your spiritual expansion. And you have almost changed the frequencies of your life path or your story of your storyline and so yeah you're understanding that reality is abiding by what we believe it to be and so this is why I think it's funny sometimes because I don't know just in my own personal experience like we will come across people who don't resonate with our truths and to me it's like that's perfectly fine because like what I believe that's how my reality is going to operate and if you don't believe that then that's like it doesn't take anything away from me it's just that your reality is going to abide by your beliefs and if we can reprogram to choose and become aware of our beliefs then why would I choose to believe things that are low vibrational knowing that that's how my reality will reflect and mirror back to me I think that people again like maybe this is coming up for a reason but people that don't accept your you in your truths or your perception of reality um i think that it's just more of a, a thing of you know it's more of a thing of that they do not have the awareness that their reality is operating from their beliefs or reflecting their beliefs to them and they do not have the awareness that there's a multiverse of understandings of perception that a situations can happen in so they tend to stay stuck in their original experience of perception and do not rewrite it and carry over these beliefs that then become very um <clears throat> rigid to 
change and so I feel like you guys actually maybe are inspiring someone or have this energy of changing people's perception because you offer them different perspectives to certain situations but also maybe that's just something that I feel like a lot of light workers deal with in general is that um we're never the ones rejecting other people's truths because it's just like obviously I think we have a pull to want to expand people's perception because we understand that beliefs are creating reality but at the same time you're not here to necessarily save anyone I feel like you are focused on your path and by doing so that is how you expand other people by them watching and learning through you because maybe there's a lot of people you're inspiring around you or teaching around you or have taught through your path simply by giving them a window into your mind in in your perception how you're perceiving things but at the same time that was a real side message note um but again like it doesn't it doesn't affect us so you are seeing that and and knowing that uh, you know your beliefs are creating reality you've been reprogramming been reweaving them been re-understanding yourself because again if our beliefs are creating reality the situations that are happening we can divinate to trace them back to certain beliefs of ourselves because certain beliefs can be formed for emotional experiences that we do not logically resonate with i can have a belief that i'm an unlovable person and yet so much of me can believe i'm a lovable person we cannot always resonate with our beliefs but to see them manifested in our reality is a clear sign that an aspect of self is still operating from that belief system or still feels that belief deep within their subconscious somewhere. So I feel like you guys use your reality as a mirror to reflect back to you your programming, your belief systems, and you use that in tandem with one another to be a co-creator, to take your awareness, to become a reprogrammer of your matrix and I feel like um, a lot of the beliefs that you're connected to are now connected to higher dimensional understandings so understandings of like energy quantum physics certain philosophies um, and these expand your understanding and perception and create these higher truths for you to um, be connected to in your programmings to operate from now this is why a lot of your reality is not operating the same as everyone else's because this is what we're saying even though we're all around each other we are operating in different realities because we're manifesting into our physical reality our programmings and our beliefs and our programmings and beliefs are connected to certain dimensional planes so you have connected to so many higher belief systems throughout your journey so far that your reality is really manifesting and operating from some higher dimensional planes of reality. This means that you are hacking your reality because if you believe what energy you put out, you attract, you've just coded that into your reality and that's what's going to happen. You know, if you believe that you do not need to do anything but change your inner energy in this moment or not change but align your inner energy in this moment to attract something that is how reality will operate for you so you're connected to some higher belief systems or truths of understanding reality that are literally hacking the system for you one of these higher truths or beliefs is simply you know having this knowing that your guides are assisting you and helping you if you believe and know your guides are assisting and helping you that is what's going to happen and to a lot of people this is perceived as luck this is perceived as coincidence but it's really not like the way that you're programming your reality is so something to be really proud of because again it's a lot different to just change a thought than to change a belief system beliefs are emotionally and energetically wired in so for you to be manifesting things that look like luck or synchronicities like this is so powerful because you've rerouted that programming deep enough that it's not just a thought belief it's an emotional knowing so you've had experiences that have re solidified your emotional knowings of higher truths and higher um ways of reality operating and and you know you guys you really are really are um operating in your timeline of reality that is very very lucid and very very beautiful 
And so in this way, like we say, there's always going to maybe be things coming up that are manifested from lower frequencies because there's always parts of us that we are still learning. We're still working through. Remember, the internal realms of us is the collective consciousness. All we have to do to really see the internal realms is to look outside and think, you know, there's parts of our inner aspects that can dictate us. A lot of people and, you know, even myself at times, this is hard one, you guys. The ego wants to dictate. Fear wants to dictate. And it's the same in the outer reality matrix to our inner reality matrix. If we let those aspects of self suppress our um, inner child, our authenticity, you know, our ego can be the one to silence our weirdness. And our weirdness is an aspect of our authenticity. So within internally, all these aspects of self are a mirror to the collective. And if you are not allowing and uh, acknowledging and creating space for your authenticity, your inner child, and you are re, um, relearning your or, or bringing your awareness to your ego when it's trying to dim your light or to lower yourself or to make yourself smaller. Like again, in the internal aspects as a mirror to the collective, the internal aspects of self, there's going to be certain ones of all different frequencies and the lower frequencies want to suppress and dictate the higher because the lower are operating from fear and protection. So it's like an overprotective um, mechanism in the self is the ego to protect. But in protecting, we end up hiding and suppressing. And so it's the same in this reality outside the ego aspects that we see materialized in the collective, like certain dictators or leaders will be materialized aspects of the ego or un unhealed energies in the collective or internal matrix like this is the same they're going to want to suppress those parts so there's like people we come across who will reject the aspects that you embody because they reject it inside themselves things like that and it's like the outside is a mirror to the inside and you guys um being in charge of your own internal realms not allowing energies to dim your light that are inside of you is affecting the collective as well and it's giving others permission to do the same which affects the out ex the external collective and the placement and and the dynamics that we're all in everything is a mirror we are all consciousness just split out we are all one another and everything outside is inside and um, I feel like you guys are really honoring your authenticity, your inner child, your intuition, your higher self to um, for those aspects to be in the light, meaning to be an operation of you moving out of operation of your higher aspects, not out of operation of your ego, because they contradict themselves. What the higher higher self wants to do, what the authenticity uh, aspect of you wants to do, will not always um, agree with what your ego thinks is safe or logical. And so you guys going through this process with a heightened inner awareness, you are quite literally, it's like you're going through these internal I don't want to say battles, but these internal dy internal dynamics that you've had to build a strong discernment with to which one we want to nurture, listen to, to honor, to feed. And I feel like you guys have been evolving your ego through your higher awareness by integrating higher truths and through your higher truths being then understood by your ego like you bringing your ego around to logically understanding your higher truths it's like we're coming to a inner divine alignment we're coming to an alignment of internal aspects where there's no dictatorship there's no suppressing from certain aspects um dictating what other aspects we're able to show if that makes sense because i feel like you know you guys are have a heightened awareness to your internal aspects and these internal aspects is very interesting because they are aspects from all different frequencies um, and sides of self and you know the aspects that you are really connecting to and that you have nourished healed and that you're showing up in is your authenticity your higher self and your inner child but you've been through this stage of awareness and bringing awareness to maybe where you were showing up, operating and listening to your uh, ego, your um, 
your ego that is the protector of self. And so I feel like what's really beautiful is I heard this the other day on Instagram somewhere that, you know, like we all have the same, um, we all have the same life purpose and it's just to be ourselves because ourselves is also unique frequency that we fulfill our life path and purpose just by being ourselves. But actually you would say like it's easy to be ourselves because we are ourselves, but it's really not because we have internal aspects that don't want us to be ourselves in order to protect us. So actually to show up in this reality as ourselves is a, it's like it should, it's like we know how to be ourselves because we don't have to try to be ourselves and yet it's the hardest thing to do because we have these conflicting internal aspects that want to suppress the self. I feel like something that's being highlighted here is that journey and the fact that you have been really loving yourself into aligning and falling into these higher belief systems which are then creating your reality. So that is the message for you beautiful souls. I was going to pull you a card out of this deck um, and see what, see what it wants to bring up. So yeah, the overall message of this reading, you are, um, your reality is operating out of higher, higher, higher vibrational timelines or dimensions or frequencies because beliefs and understandings are connected to frequencies and if you're connected internally to these higher frequencies that's what you're manifesting in your outer reality so you're operating in a reality that does not abide by the same laws as everyone else because you've reprogrammed you've come out of default mode and reprogrammed so the ways that you go about your life is really only, it only needs to understand or make sense to you because not everyone's reality is operating out of the same programming systems just so like what will work for you might not work for someone else because again if that's how you believe it's going to work that's how it will change so change is the card coming out embracing change change is also something that can trigger the ego and so maybe like when we go through different uh, experiences in life it can activate different aspects of self again and so when we go through change it can activate the ego aspect again because it feels like it needs to protect the self because change is connected to the unknown and in the unknown there's all these possible timelines and many of them are in situations that we need to protect and actually just equally as much so there's so many that are in situations that we don't need that protection but the ego is better safe than sorry and that's how it operates so when we are experiencing certain things like change I feel like this is where you've really taken the reins to bring in some higher understandings with light codes here right so to bring in higher truths of understanding towards change this is what we're highlighting on you guys have higher programmed inner understanding matrixes or about change so these the ones coming through the strongest is that change leads to the unknown unknown is where newness can be experienced maybe that's the internal programming you have uh, rewired into yourself another one can be that change leads to the alteration of what timeline we're headed down what alignments we're headed down it can also be that change leads to expansion it can be that change is stepping out of our comfort zone and by stepping out of our comfort zone we're honoring our internal aspects that kind of go against our ego like our higher self because our higher self knows our expansion of soul self lies within change but the ego gets uncomfortable in that energy so it's like you have higher matrix tricks programmings or higher programmings that you've woven in of knowings about how you believe reality operates when it comes to change what change entails change being maybe understood more from a timeline frequency perspective um or a perspective of ascension okay that a lot of change happens when we're ascending because um you know we're realigning and we're shifting timelines and and things are different in different timelines so i feel like there's a lot of energies that you have um connected to higher understandings when it comes to change the benefit of change also light codes things like this in itself light codes like this is a higher dimensional understanding that is not in the lower right because because say with change, change can be understood at different levels of frequency. Change exists still in 
store, even light codes exist still in lower frequencies, but they're not acknowledged. Change is still acknowledged in lower frequencies as being here, right? Light codes are not. Light codes is something that we like that exist in higher planes that doesn't in lower planes and again like we say it's not that they don't exist it's that they're not acknowledged and if something is not uh, acknowledged or brought awareness to it basically doesn't exist in our perception of reality so the fact that light codes is coming out is telling me you are in a reality that has things in it like the understanding of light codes that are not in lower dimensional planes of reality. If you speak to someone operating out of a programming systems that is in living in a reality that is 3D, <clears throat> third dimensional, they're not going to know what light codes are. Why? Because they do not exist for them down there. Um, again, it's not that they maybe don't exist, it's that they're not acknowledged or perceived. So in their frame of perception, it doesn't exist. So the fact that this is coming out is telling me that you are connected to certain planes of frequency where things are acknowledged to be existing that are not acknowledged to be existing in the third dimensional planes. Whoa, that was a cool one. I really like that. I really like that. What else have we got coming out here? Who are you? So the understanding of who you are is different in higher dimensional planes than it is lower. You understand who are you? You are consciousness. You are, um, you know, the materialization of an aspect of consciousness that everyone and everything is consciousness. Who am I? I am the universe, right? That's what you would say. So having a different understanding of who you are, what the self is in higher dimensional planes, also is programming your reality in a different way as well. Because understanding that we are all connected and in this way means that you're understanding dynamics of connections in a different way to what you could have done in a in the third dimensional reality which means you gain a lot of benefit from relationship dynamics and things like that because you're using them as a reflection to self something that couldn't happen in a lower 3d plane of perception of reality because in third dimension perception of reality we're all completely separate and not connected to one another and so you know we can only really learn through the self. So you're expanding or learning of the self is expanded because you're in higher timelines of dimension, understanding things in this different way. 2222 two, 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 I just saw as well. Whoa. It is hot in here. Whoa. So you guys, um, you know, the understandings you've gained from higher planes, I mean, you know, you are living in a, a fifth dimensional way. You're living in a perception of reality that's expanded because so many more things exist here where you are than they do in the lower planes. Like we said, um, like light codes being one example of that or um, what is that? <laughs> Guys, that was actually crazy because I went in this deck thinking of this card and I was like no I'll just pull one and see what comes out and I pulled this card ancient codes DNA this is what I was thinking of like this is something that exists also in higher dimensional planes is like the expansion of perception of reality you guys have an expanded perception of reality because what we acknowledge exists like what we bring our awareness to exists for us in our perception and so if we've brought our awareness to so many things like this uh dna and light codes and you know these higher truths then our actual reality is expanded so much more is in it than in the lower because in the lower we can only understand so much um and so it's like our reality and higher being connected to higher planes has expanded your reality in so many ways um ancient codes as well this is all about you being um activated you being activated with dormant and ancient dna and inside dna it holds information it holds coding it holds informational coding so you have had dna activated inside of you that has had ancient stored coding inside and this is where maybe this is where you've gained a lot of these higher truths from is from light codes um frequencies being given to you um by your guides that are or you harnessing light frequencies that is activating certain DNA structures of information to become activated, that then you integrate into you as understandings and knowings. Um, again, like this, just what popped in my head then 
It was like, you know, they discovered uh, like drawings on cave walls of the DNA structure helix and how, you know, there was like diagrams of like how we see the body in X-ray um, even before x-ray was invented because all the information that can exist does exist and will exist all lies within the quantum realm which lies inside our mind and so you've activated certain information <clears throat> or dna inside of you that has downloaded information of understanding body anatomy reality energy um in a very very expanded way again um there's like dna being drawn on the cave walls and stuff like that like how would we know about that is because all information already exists and you've been tapping into <clears throat> this core of source knowledge and information that a lot of you have downloaded some very interesting concepts that you are integrating into yourself to then <clears throat> maybe share into the world like to write into a book or to put forward um, like if you're like, let's say if you're a scientist, like doing certain experiments to put forward to prove your theories or something or researching into proving certain theories. And it's more that we're not finding the understanding. We're more backing up to validate the understanding. So you've had downloads of higher truths of understanding the body, mind and soul that literally not all of these truths have been integrated to be fully anchored into this plane yet. And I think that a lot of you light workers, that's what you came to do or part of what you will end up doing is that a lot of you have a passion for sharing knowledge or gaining and acquiring knowledge through the self or through um, what you are curious to research. And so maybe a lot of you will be a conduit to uh, grounding higher dimensional understandings into this earthly plane this lifetime through art, music, writing, poetry, journaling, like technology, science, things like this, um, which is very powerful. Right, that's where I'm going to leave your reading to you, beautiful souls. Uh, I love you so much. Maybe there is some change coming for you guys um, into your reality. Um, I also just pulled the cards honesty and forgiveness. So maybe there's some healing that's happening or some shifting that's happening as you go through these changes. Um, you know, healing and forgiving, allowing you to energetically free up space to sh carry on shifting up to that next, uh, that next frequency, that next state of consciousness where in that next state of consciousness you're going to continue to gather new understandings and you're going to continue to expand your perception of reality which really is your reality so um yeah i love you all so much um and thank you for tuning in hopefully this has brought some confirmation for you guys of your intuitive truths that's all i ever set the intention to do is be a mirror of confirmation for your intuitive aspect of self and your intuitive truths and higher um understandings higher planes that you've connected to already re-amplifying those and connecting back with those truth because of course truth is different at different levels of conscious free of frequency state of consciousness and so you're operating out of some higher dimensional planes of truth that are very powerful Right, that's where I'm going to leave this reading. I love you so much. I have you. I hope you have the most beautiful day. I'm not filming this on my birthday, but I'm definitely going to go have a beautiful day and connect to the nature and energies and self. Um, you know, just think about how many lifetimes we've lived <laughs> and how many birthdays we've had. It's crazy. What even is a birthday? The cyclical energy. Um, but yeah, but anyway, I love you so much and I'll speak to you all very soon. Mwah.